Good evening, sisters and brothers, and welcome to this 110th graduation celebration at Heston College. It's an auspicious year for us, a year when things have not gone as planned, including the ceremony. Who, at the start of this academic year, would have imagined us spending this time together this evening in cyberspace in this time of celebration? But nonetheless, we will celebrate this evening indeed. It really is my honor to welcome you this evening to the celebration. We're celebrating the accomplishments of our graduates who have worked very hard to get to where they're at. And I do want to start with a word of hope of saying, in spite of COVID-19 and what it's done for our year, there is a bright future ahead of us. And our ceremony this evening will speak to that. We're gonna to listen to some parents saying prayers of dedication we're gonna hear some students reflect on the year. We're gonna have the conferring of degrees. And in all of this, we are gonna remember what this year had for us in its whole, in all of it, the good and the bad. But nonetheless, tonight we celebrate and there's much to be celebrated. I wanna give a special introduction to our parents who are gonna be joining us this evening. Our prayer of invocation will be brought to us by Hannah and Chris Nicholson, the parents of Silas Nicholson. And our prayer of dedication this evening will be brought to us by Jesse Hernandez, the parent of Esmeralda Hernandez. It is our privilege and honor to have them join us. Thank you. And I pray that this evening, as you celebrate with us, that you remember the many accomplishments that have been made. Bonjour, nous sommes les parents de Silas, Chris et Anna, et nous allons prier pour cette cérémonie qui salue les efforts de la faculté, les personnels et spécialement des étudiants. Hello, we are the parents of Silas, we're Chris and Hannah Nicholson, and we're going to pray for this ceremony that celebrates the efforts of the staff and faculty and especially of the graduates. Nous les souhaitons tous la réussite et la faveur de notre Seigneur Jésus. We wish them all success and the favor of our Lord Jesus Christ. Prions. Let us pray. Seigneur, tu es bon. Lord, you are good. Je te remercie pour toute la bonté que tu nous donnes. We thank you for all of the loving kindness that you have given us. Si ce n'est pas par ta grâce, nous n'achèverons aucune tâche dans cette vie. Without your grace, we would achieve nothing in this life. Merci Seigneur. Thank you, Lord. Merci que tu amènes ces gens jusqu'ici, une étape importante dans leur vie qui ponctue des accomplissements de leur travail. We thank you for bringing the graduates to this place, an event that marks the important step in their hard work and accomplishments. Bénis les Seigneurs. Bless them, Lord. Pour les parents parmi nous, and for the parents among us, fiers de leurs enfants, who are proud of their children, que tu les soutiens comme ils ont soutenu leurs enfants. That you would support them as they have supported their children. Pour la faculté et les personnels, for the faculty and staff, de la paix et la joie. That you would give them peace and joy. Que malgré une période s'achève, even though a door is closing, qu'ils sachent que le temps ils ont eu pour semer de l'espoir et de l'apprentissage, that they will know that the time that they've had to sow hope, knowledge, and skill vont aider ces gens tout au long de leur vie. We'll go with the graduates all through their lives. Je mets tous ces gens entre tes mains et leur futur. We give all of these people into your hands and their futures. Dans ton nom, Seigneur Jésus. In your name, Lord Jesus. Amen. Amen. In recognition of our diverse student body, the scripture passage of Mark 4, 30 to 32 
will be read tonight by three different graduates in three different languages. Navy Widyani, a music therapy major from Indonesia, will read in Bahasa, Indonesia. Sari Nakazawa, a business major from Japan, will read in Japanese. And Sam Blosser, a nursing major from Kansas, will read in English. But first, each year we invite nominations for one female student and one male student to speak at commencement. This year, the two students who received the most votes and will be representing the student body are Ian Leckie and Macy Murray. Ian is from Overland Park, Kansas, and he has been studying pre-nursing during his time at Heston College. Outside of the classroom, he has played baseball, been a resident assistant, and served as president of the Student Advisory Board. Next year, he will be transferring to Newman University, where he plans to continue playing baseball and to study either nursing or business and marketing. Macy is a psychology major from Denver, Colorado. She has been a peer mentor, tutor, writing assistant, weight room supervisor, and student ambassador. But she has also been very active as a member of the volleyball team and as a Norma. She plans to continue her academic and volleyball career down the road at Bethel College. Ian and Macy, we look forward to hearing what you have to share with your classmates. As many of you know, I'm Ian Leckie. I want to start by saying thank you to everyone who thought I'd shown the great ability to talk. Who would have thought that I'd be good at talking? I think Coach Glom said it best when he stated, whenever I need to stall someone, I know I can count on sending Ian over to talk with him and I will get at least 20 extra minutes. Anyway, congratulations class of 2020. We made it. When I first transferred to Heston, I came in thinking, I'm only here to play baseball and to get myself to a better school, but that wasn't the case. Heston taught me that no matter what, someone always had my back. When I suffered an injury during the winter of last year, I went from being independent to relying heavily on the athletic training staff, Julie Lehman, and everyone else here at Heston. It was at that point that I realized I had to come back for another year. As my second year flashed before my eyes, I made sure to form the bonds that will last a lifetime. Whether it was meeting with Sandy to discuss the many things I want to be when I grow up, or stopping by Dory's candy shop for a handful of gummy worms, discussing shoes with Terrence and Micah, or making sure that Deb made it out before 6.30. Yelling into Lauren and Emily's apartments to see which one would respond faster, or begging Morelby to be my partner for the next in-class quiz. Having a serious meeting with Clay as he explains, I am at a 10 and need to bring it down to a 3 because I'm causing a ruckus in his 8 a.m. class. The many prayers shared with Tim and Casey Cole, or the well-needed life advice from Serena. But the one thing I looked forward to most each day was visiting Brenda, as she was often the one who made my day better, greeting me with a smile even though she was probably thinking, well, I need to clear the next 40 minutes off my schedule. I could go on and on, but I'll stop here and say thank you to everyone. As the saying goes, not all heroes wear capes. As we look back on our time at Heston, there are a few things that stood out to me, including the late night Druber runs and watching the crowd gather as Fart here overlooked campus. We will miss our sporting events and bel canto performances and looking out to see Kevin Wilder sitting at all of them. We thank the nursing students for the free bikes, allowing us to go on well-needed bike rides, especially with all the cheese fries we consume. We will never forget Ken's alter ego and her incredible cooking ability. Without Ken, I think many of us would, be, would still be trying to make toast in the microwave and setting off the fire alarms in which the students love so much. We have witnessed fellow classmates do anything in order to earn an A, including a solo performance from Paulina at halftime. We have even witnessed Brad McBride's Spartan kick a water fountain off the wall. We will never forget the long nights of practicing Heil's Kashikta or the early mornings of racket sports with Clay Stoffer, in which more times than not, we usually lost. Or even back at the beginning of the year when Joe convinced us all that he actually had a mustard seed in his hand. The bonds we have formed and the relationships we have made were cut short this year, as we are the class that had quite the unique year. We had no college basketball tournament, no spring sporting events of our own. We packed our stuff expecting to come back, but were too soon told to stay home. Many of us left without getting one last hug or conversation goodbye, but the best part about Heston is that our friendships will never die. As we don't know what is in store for us next year, always remember that our journey as an adult started here where we learned to love, to set our own alarms, and formed our fear of 1159, where we grew mentally, grew emotionally, and if we visited Drubers quite often, then we most likely grew physically, 
where you learn that chapels can be fun, and when it comes to Disney princesses, the baseball players are no match for the fathers in the science department. We have learned that we are stronger together than we are divided. No matter where we go, as long as we are together, we will all accomplish big things. But before I leave you today, remember these things. Find someone to help you through life. Respect everyone. Life is not always fair. You have to move forward. Don't be afraid to fail often. Be curious. Take risks. Step up when times are tough. And never, ever give up. Hello there, I'm Macy Murray. I want to start by thanking everyone who thought I had shown great public speaking qualities through the endless amount of times that I've probably talked to you off. Okay, but seriously, we made it. Congratulations to the class of 2020. When writing this speech, I thought I would discuss one of the biggest lessons I learned here over the past two years. I never thought I'd learn this much about college. Okay, let me clarify. I never thought I'd learn about love this much in college. The stuff that was important to me that will last until I die was never something I learned in college writing one, principles of physical science, biblical literature, or any class for that matter. The most important lesson I learned in college was about this thing called love. I had felt it before, don't get me wrong. I grew up in an amazing home with tons of love and support from my family. However, the way I was taught here at Heston these past two years was amazing and something that's hard to put into words, but I will try. Stepping onto campus for the first time, I remember the humid summer air and the sun beaming down. My stomach was full of butterflies and my mind was racing at a million miles per minute. For the first week or two, I cried about every night and I was begging just to come home and transfer to a local university. Heston was one of the worst things that had ever happened to me. Since I'm giving the speech, I'm sure you guys realize that that wasn't exactly the case. However, I was no longer with my family, volleyball with a new team was kind of weird, and my classes were no longer 40 minute pieces of cake. Also, I couldn't remember the last time my roommate and I had an actual conversation. Shortly after I was done having an extreme freshman meltdown, I realized things weren't that bad. Heston taught me love through endless all-nighters, adventures to Droopers with Ellie, Willow, and Lexi, hanging out with Mont 1A3, past open house hours, long one-on-ones with Casey Cole, and movie nights. These memories can never attest to the amount of joy I had at Heston. I've learned to love a lot. I love ice skating after Feast of Carols. I love the basement of the library because we all know we don't get any cell service down there. I love Fortnite, thanks to Ian and Ryan. I love being woken up at 4 a.m. to the fire alarms in the snow. I love being awful at basketball. On an unrelated note, I love co-coaching intramurals basketball. I love sleeping in truck beds. I love music blasting in Kevin Wilder's 8 a.m.s. I love prank wars. I love churros from the calf, even when Connor eats 26 of them. I love the campus when the trees start to change colors. I love cheese fries. I love small towns. I love highways, not interstates, because seriously, who calls them interstates? I love learning to love places I never thought I would even know, like the Lincoln Perk, a small pond behind the Wellness Center, and the truck stop in Newton. I've fallen in love with memories I never thought I would even consider missing. I fell in love with people I would have never known. I love laughs and smiles I would have never heard or seen. I have learned to love the peace and quiet, which is something Denver only offers when the sun approaches the horizon. I experienced love for the first time in the world that to most isn't so loving. Love like this is something you'll never understand by listening to my speech, though. I'm sure the class of 2020 already knows the amount of love that we received here at Heston. Thank you for listening to my experience, and congratulations to the class of 2020. Heston, you will be missed. Markus 4 ayat 30 sampai dengan 32. Katanya lagi, dengan apa hendak kita membandingkan kerajaan Allah itu? Atau dengan perumpamaan manakah hendaknya kita menggambarkannya? Hal kerajaan itu seumpama biji sesawi yang ditaburkan di tanah. Memang biji itu yang paling kecil daripada segala jenis benih yang ada di bumi. Tetapi apabila ia ditaburkan, ia tumbuh dan menjadi lebih besar daripada segala sayuran yang lain dan mengeluarkan cabang-cabang yang besar, sehingga burung-burung di udara dapat bersarang dalam naungannya. Mustashiwa,こう言われました。神の国もどのようにマスターシードのようです。マスターシードは最初のシードですが、大きくなると非常に大きくなり、鳥になります。巣を作ることができます。Mark 4, 30-32. Again he said, What shall we say the kingdom of God is like, or what parable shall we use to describe it? It is like a mustard seed, which is the smallest of all the seeds on earth. Yet when planted, it becomes the largest of all the garden plants. 
with such big branches that the birds can perch in its shade. Thank you students for reading those scripture verses for us in the various languages. As I listen to it, I'm reminded of the world in which we live today. We come here to Heston College from so many different walks of life, from different parts of the world, and yet we've been here together in this, in this collected one, together, walking, learning. And in this environment, I'm reminded that we don't live alone. We live in a world that's much bigger than we are. And right now, you are getting ready to get launched into that world. Here we say, right, you start here, but you go everywhere. And you're about to launch into that chapter of going everywhere. And so my word for you tonight, I want it to be a word of hope. We are people of hope. And I don't want you to forget that. Never forget that you are a seed of hope in this world in which we live. If you've learned nothing else at Heston College, I pray that that's a lesson that you have heard and that you have learned and that you have taken in and that you will take with you as you go into the world. Our theme verse for this year came from Mark. The Gospel of Mark tells the story of the mustard seed and Jesus looking at this mustard seed and equating it to the kingdom of God. This kingdom that's here and present with us right now and not yet. It is my hope that when you were here on campus, as you interacted with other sisters and brothers from around the world and across this country, you would have experienced what that kingdom of God is like. Because what I observed in you was that on this campus, on this very ground in which we studied, we learned, we ate, we slept, there was something that took place that reflected the kingdom of God. And it was this. People who are not supposed to get along with each other, people who are not supposed to eat with each other, people who are not supposed to walk into each other's neighborhood, did that right here on this campus that's what the kingdom of god is about sisters and brothers and that's the hope that my prayer is that it was planted in your heart and in your being that as you read your books as you studied the materials that the faculty gave you that that somehow became part of you as you're going out into the world now so my challenge for you sisters and brothers is that you take that seed of hope with you and plant it elsewhere because this world needs it, sisters and brothers. This world needs hope. All we have to do is turn on the TV set in the evening times or watch our social media of things that are coming through. When you see the fear out there, when we see the anger out there, when we see the brokenness that's out there, we agents of God's kingdom need to go in and plant that seed of hope so that the kingdom of God can grow there in some way. And it's going to be different from one place to the other. But nonetheless, sisters and brothers, that's my challenge for you today. Go. Go into the world and be that seed of hope in this world. I'd like to close with a blessing that I've been sharing with you over the last several weeks. It's a blessing that I hope you carry with you, and I hope you're willing to share this blessing with others as well. And it is this. Take care of yourself, sisters and brothers. Take care of, of each other. Be smart, be safe, and be kind. Go in God's love, sisters and brothers.
Heston College grants the following degrees, Bachelor of Science, Bachelor of Science in Nursing, Associate of Arts, Associate of Science, Associate of Applied Arts and Sciences, and Associate of General Studies. President Monicum, the faculty have recommended the following students to receive a bachelor's or associate degree from Heston College. By the authority vested in me by the Mennonite Education Agency and the Heston College Board of Directors, I confer upon you the degree earned through your program of study. Bachelor of Science in Nursing, Associate of Arts, Associate of Science, Associate of Applied Arts and Sciences, or Associate of General Studies. Congratulations to each of you for the significant accomplishment. In the spring of 2018, Heston College faculty approved a new honors program that stacked additional requirements onto our various associate degrees. Those requirements included higher expectations for academic rigor, critical thinking and research, integrative and transcultural learning, and preparation for life. This year, we are awarding our very first associate degree that satisfies the honors curriculum requirements. Congratulations to Hannah Klusman for earning an Associate of Arts degree with honors. Also, each year the Heston College academic community honors members of the graduating class who have achieved a grade point average of 3.9 to 4.0 during their time of study on our campus. To qualify for this recognition, a student must have accumulated a minimum of 30 credit hours at Heston College. Earning a GPA between 3.9 and 4.0 is certainly a significant accomplishment. The students who have made the Dean's List based upon their career GPA will receive a gold honor cord along with their regalia to recognize this achievement. And you will note the indication of Dean's List along with the indication of the degree that each has earned. Nursing graduates, Today, as you receive your Bachelor of Science in Nursing degree, you will be joining the profession of nursing and more than 1,700 nurses who have graduated from this college over the past 53 years. We are confident that each of you will represent Heston College Nursing and our mission of caring for the whole person wherever you practice, in this state, in this country, and around the world. I want to take a moment to explain the meaning behind the nursing pin that you will receive. This pin is unique. It is the only one of its kind and was designed especially for Heston College. You will notice that the lamp of knowledge appears in the upper left-hand corner of our pin, symbolizing learning. On the lower half of the pin are the initials of Heston College. The sunrise, plow, and wheat represent the state of Kansas. However, you will see the symbol that maintains central position in the entire design is the cross. It provides a reminder of Christ, who gives purpose to life and the desire to serve. Note that this pin has been molded into a shield. The shield signifies faith. Faith, first of all, in God, but also faith in yourself and in the knowledge and skills you now possess. Nursing graduates, I challenge you to live out our nursing program motto, a tradition of service, a commitment to care as you enter the profession at such a crucial time. And as you wear your pins, reflect often upon your learning and your experiences at Heston College. But more importantly, remember that it is God who called you to serve. And now, here are the graduates of the Heston College Class of 2020.
President Monica and I are speaking to you today while we are standing near the Global Pathway here in front of the Alleman Administration Building. This Global Pathway is a relatively new addition to our campus, but it is a visual reminder that our students come from many different places. More than 25 countries were represented by our student body just this year. And we know how much the different cultures and perspectives that each student brings with them benefits our entire campus. In March, most of you returned home to your various states and countries. We miss you, and we miss our diverse community. As we celebrate our graduates today, we also want to celebrate our students who came from other countries to study in Heston, Kansas for two years or four years. Our class of 2020 includes graduates from nine different countries, including Albania, the Bahamas, Canada, the Democratic Republic of the Congo, Ethiopia, Indonesia, Honduras, Japan, and the United States. Many of you earned your degrees while studying in a language that is not your first language, and that is simply amazing. A special congratulations to each of you. You came from everywhere to start here, and now we wish you all the best as you go on to your next step and continue a life of learning. My name is Jesse Hernandez, and my daughter is Esme Hernandez, and I would ask everyone to pray with me. Heavenly Father, I thank you, Lord. First of all, I thank you for this opportunity you've given me, Lord, to be here and pray for these students and the staff. Lord, I believe that as you gave your son for us, like John 3.16 says, Lord Jesus, for us to have a journey for eternal life, I believe Heston has the same for all these students. They accept students from everywhere to start them in their journey and to send them out to the fields, Father God. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you for Heston College. And I pray for these students here, Lord, be with them, be among them. And I ask for your hand to be all over them, Father God, in their journey as they begin or they continue. In your holy name I pray, amen. For all of our graduates, we know that your time at Heston College came to an abrupt and unwelcome end. This isn't the way that we hope to celebrate your hard work and accomplishments. We should be standing together outside of Yost Center after this program, sharing hugs and taking pictures, just as many previous graduating classes have done. We encourage you to celebrate wherever you are with your family, maybe even a few close friends. The academics office at the college is preparing a special package for each of you that we hope to mail in about a week. In it, you will find a commencement program, your diploma, graduation regalia, and your nursing pin if you are a nursing graduate. When you receive the package, we encourage you to put on your regalia and pin, hold your diploma proudly, take a picture, and share it on social media with the hashtag HC2020GRAD. Then we can continue to celebrate with you, from a safe distance of course, on into the summer. We hope that there may be a time in the future, perhaps even over homecoming weekend this September, when we can reunite the class of 2020 and celebrate together in person. We'll let you know, but until then, know that we are very proud to call you graduates of Heston College. Congratulations. Will a circle be unbroken by and by, Lord, by and by? Greetings, Hessen College, Class of 2020. Congratulations. As your registrar, one of my greatest joys in work is to sign your diplomas and celebrate with you the completion of that achievement. And I will be working on that and packing those off to you here in the next couple of days. But today we are here to celebrate your commencement. To commence means to begin something new. And I want to wish you all the best as you commence this new journey in life. May God's peace and wisdom and love go with you. Congratulations. 
just want to say congratulations to the class of 2020 for graduating and making it through this year. I want to say thank you to all the faculty and staff members who have pushed me to become a better version of myself. And lastly, I wish all the best blessings on next year's school year. Congratulations, class of 2020. What a time we've had. What an incredible t last year, last semester. You guys are incredible. You've put up with a lot of adversity and you've come through with shining colors. I stand here in the BSN Center and I look at uh, a signage that was placed on the wall. It says, a tradition of service, a commitment of care. That's what you people are. Everybody that has endured the last five, six weeks with this uh, COVID-19 problem, you, you're, going to, you're going to make the best possible nurses that we ever had. And I, I, I believe that for all students that will graduate from Heston. You've been moved out of your comfort zone, you've been at home or other places, and keeping up with your schoolwork, congratulations. Uh, go out, take this whole process, and grow from it and be the best possible person in God's great world. Culture's Fair is always a real exciting time for me in terms of really being able to see what the students bring and the creativity and the energy that they put into their presentations. They do this in the middle of midterms and athletics and music and theater activities, and they bring such a joy and such such an energy to the campus. It's very exciting. It's one of my favorite things every year. Class of 2020, congratulations on your hard work, dedication, and for making it thus far. Thank you to all the faculty, staff, and the rest of the Hessen community for your love and support. Class of 2021, you got this. Congratulations, Class of 2020. It's been an interesting year, one that we've never enjoyed before. And frankly, if you've survived this one, you can survive anything. It'll be fabulous to see where you go and what you do from here, and you will carry our blessings with you as you move forward. Congratulations. Some of my favorite memories from this year would definitely be around performing arts. I always love the musicals and the plays, but this year's um, were just amazing, and that's something I look forward to every year. So I can't wait to see what's in store for next year. Congratulations, graduates, on completing your associate or BSN degree. I've really enjoyed seeing many of you in the library while you were checking out reserve books or maybe using the computer or the printer or hanging out and studying with your friends or using the Bible dictionaries for your inductive Bible study. I really encourage you to no matter where you are, find the local library and make good use of it and make reading one of your lifelong activities. There are some quotes that I really like. Dr. Seuss said in his book, I can read with my eyes shut. The more that you read, the more things you will know. The more that you learn, the more places you will go. And one of my favorite reading quotes is from Joseph Addison, where he said, reading is to the mind, what exercise is to the body. When you've been in the library, you've probably noticed at the desk, I have a sign that says kindness matters. And that is so important and so true, particularly in our world today. So go out in kindness and in serving others as you leave Heston College to your next de destination on your life's journey. I wish each of you the very best and again, congratulations. Hey Heston family, I just wanted to take a quick moment to say how much fun it was to experience my first year at Heston with this group of people. To all the sophomores, good luck in the coming years and please come back and visit. Congrats. Congratulations to all the graduates of Heston College 2020. I appreciate many of you that I've gotten to know over the years, particularly as you have performed solos, been involved in choir and concerts, and in theater. We appreciate your artistic abilities and the ways that you have given of yourself to others. Continue to do that. One of the privileges that I have in my role here at Heston College is I get to travel and often have the opportunity to meet students in their home country, their home city, and every now and then even in their own homes. 
to be able to have that experience and to see them where they are as they're making their choice to, for college, and then to see the accomplishments that they make while they're here on campus, to see them singing in bel canto or in the play or playing on the baseball field, it's just so exciting to see what they're accomplishing. And then to see them graduate and receive their diploma, it's just a real uh, privilege to be a part of that experience. Congratulations, class of 2020. You have all been a pleasure to work with in class, those of you who I've met. And seeing the rest of you around campus, I hope everything goes well for you from here on out. I always enjoy my organic chemistry class because I, this year I got to have six or seven sophomore students. And it's fun to have students again for a second year and get to know you all a little bit better. I will miss you all and I'm glad that I got to have three quarters of a year with you. I, I'd just like to say congratulations to the uh, class of 2020. Um, and uh, they have just been a tremendous part of my last two years. Uh, they were the first class coming in uh, with me um, and uh, as, as my first year. And so it's been uh, just really encouraging to see the growth that, that each of them have had. Um, and they've obviously impacted our athletic teams um, tremendously. And, um, in, a, in a really good way, both on and off the, off the field court uh, playing surface. And so just, I'm just happy to see that they've pushed through difficult circumstances, especially in this last quarter, um, and, and they have put themselves in a position uh, to graduate. And I'm just, I'm so happy for them and, and grateful for their contributions to Lark Athletics here um, and excited to see uh, where, uh, the, where they go um, from here. Class of 2020, it's been a great time here at Heston College these two years. I've really enjoyed getting to know you guys in some of the experiential learning classes. Um, the backpack camping, the skiing, the canoeing, other courses like that. It's been nice to, to get to learn more about you um, in your faith walk and your journey. Um, I wish you guys the best of luck uh, with the future and all that you guys do. I want to say congratulations to all of the graduates. It's been so fun getting to know you this year and I wish you nothing but the best for the future. Thanks for stopping by my office to chat and for your smiles and hellos on the sidewalk. Take care. Congratulations to the class of 2020, especially those who I was fortunate to have in my acting classes, my speech classes, stage makeup, and those who I was just lucky enough to say hello to on the sidewalk. Uh, I hope you do well um, and take care. Congratulations, graduates. Uh, work well done. We're very proud of you. Congratulations, class of 2020. And also, thank you for working for Dining Services. To those of you that are graduating this year, some of you I've had the chance to learn to know well. Some of you I haven't ever talked with before, but congratulations on persevering. This has been a really strange time that has required a lot of different things of you than what you anticipated. And as I've had the opportunity to have conversation with some of you, I know that many of you feel angry and feel um, like you've been shortchanged and like this is a major loss that you've experienced that cannot be replaced. And I want to name that feeling of anger and of grief and just acknowledge it with you. Uh, you don't have to feel okay about this. You don't have to find a silver lining meaning has a way of making itself known over time and sometimes there isn't any meaning and it's just an experience that is difficult that we uh, carry with us and it changes us and so I invite you to again just feel what you're feeling about it uh, without trying to make it into something that it might not be for you and I want to congratulate you on your hard work because um, you have done things that no one else has had to do at Huston College before and I wish you joy as you go from here and um, trust that you will find meaning in the next things that you pursue.